In this video, we're gonna be using face fat, grapefruit, lavender, and bergamot, and the Economy Supply 800 razor. Stay tuned. Hey there, folks, and welcome back for another video. I'm your host, CDB. Thanks so much for joining me again today. I really appreciate it. And if, if you are new, if it's your first time here, hope you'll consider subscribing below because we do have a 5,000 subscriber giveaway coming up when I hit that number for the second time because <laughs> I had it already on my old channel years ago. Okay, let's talk a little bit about the soap today. So I had a sample which I've whipped up. Um, this is face fat, grapefruit, lavender, bergamot. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful scent right up my alley. Scent strength is about uh, medium, maybe slightly over medium. Outstanding scent. I tell you right now, I would buy the scent if it were available. Face fat is out of Australia. And right now it seems to be everything sold out and I think they're reformulating. But I, I have to say, I've never used the soap before, but it looks really good in the bowl and the scent is fantastic. I would buy this. So it comes to you in Australia for $20 Australian. Um, and that is about $14.56 in the US for four ounces or $3.64 an ounce on our cost chart, which is a good uh, price. Smells great. Um, the ingredients, some that I like, um, just pointing out some of them that I really like. Shea butter, mango butter, cocoa butter. I love it when I see ingredients like that in the soap. So let's go ahead and get started today. And we're going to go ahead and sanitize the platform with the Hega uh, toxic waste, as Maddie Lindholm likes to call it. Let's just sanitize the platform. Why not? Oh, yeah. Ah, that smells great. This is nice stuff. By the way, Marion Barbarian, Marion the Barbarian, or MTB, as I like to call him, sent me uh, this aftershave. So thank you very much, Marion, and the sample and the razor. He sent me this several months ago. I have rehoned it on my Zuku stone, so it's the first time trying this edge, and we hope it will be good. So let's go ahead and mist. And again, the reason I like using this mister, it allows me to apply moisture to the face without getting my hands wet and we have about 24 hours growth which you can see there the the salt and the brush today is the west coast shaving two-tone which are back in stock under 20 bucks like usually 17 something i'll put a link for you below and the lather on this man it smells fantastic so thank you mary and this is right up my alley and, and definitely i would buy it especially at the price. Now, again, I don't know if they're planning to raise prices once they reformulate. Um, but I got to say, this stuff, look at that lather. I mean, this is nice soap. You haven't seen it a lot. You've seen Chris Maiden from Another Cut Above use it. Uh, I think I might have seen Johan use it. I haven't seen it a ton. But I will say, Marion sent me a little sample. This stuff, this stuff is nice. <laughs> at least judging on the way this lather looks. Uh, and it smells great. So I'm, I'm very excited about the, the scent and just to see how it goes. I'm, a lot of times you can tell just by the way the lather looks. I don't think I'm gonna have any problems with this soap. It looks great. So let's see how we did with our edge today. Again, this is the economy supply and you can hear it doing its work there. Pretty good, very nice, very hollow, this blade. That feels nice. So I think once again, we're happy with our edge. Again, I'm not gonna say it's the greatest edge of all time, but it's comfortable and it's doing what it needs to do. Rehung this on the uh, Azuku stone. I think I could, squeeze some more sharpness out of it, but it's not bad. Um, previously, it had been honed at the uh, Razor Emporium, and that particular edge was not really for me. It was a good edge, but uh, I don't know. I just felt like I could get a little more out of it by rehoning, and, and uh, I'm very happy with the edge here. So once again, that's... <laughs> honing, paying off, making me feel very, very good. And I know I've been using a lot of straights recently in a row, but it's mostly because I'm testing my edges and I'm learning 
as I'm going. And by the way, I want to remind you of something. I just uploaded yesterday all the episodes of Re Real Talk from our Instagram show, which is coming up this Friday, by the way. So Sharp David and I, I put those on YouTube for those of you who aren't on Instagram, if you want to go back and see those conversations. And again, I will advise you that the first episode, we were just getting our feet wet, and I think they've gotten better as we've gone along. And one episode, Peter Charkelis uh, sits in and gives a lot of information about his business and the things he's trying to do. So check them out if you want to, but join us live, especially this week coming up, because we have the Diver Down set giveaway, courtesy of uh, PAA Drawing, and there's still time for you to enter that giveaway. So watch the Real Talk episode. The very latest one, which I think was from September 11th, for details on how to enter that giveaway. We'll be drawing that live on Real Talk this coming Friday. And also, let me wipe the blade off. That was a nice pass, by the way. We will be doing a giveaway courtesy of the Razor Company for two, two $25 gift certificates. So make sure you join us this Friday and take a chance on winning or give yourself a chance to win. Thank you, the Razor Company, the Razor Company, for the generous giveaway. We really appreciate that. There's so many great artisans and folks that are just willing to support, you know, content creators and folks in the community, like the Razor Company, like PAA, like many people. Um, and we really appreciate that. So come on by Friday. Take a chance to win. But if you don't happen to catch it, I will be uploading the episodes to the YouTube channel here so you can catch those. And go and check out uh, David Gonzalez's channel, So Sharp David. I'll link that below for you. So first pass, really nice. The face fat soap, I like it. And I don't know what they're doing with the reformulation, but I will tell you right now. I think this is vegan. I'm not 100% sure. It's vegetable based, I think. And if I'm wrong, I apologize. Um, whatever the case, it performs like a tallow soap, which I like creamy. A lot of vegan soap ha has a have a tendency to be produce more volume, but they're not quite as silky, creamy. But if this one is in fact vegan or vegetable based, it's very creamy, and I like the type of lather that it is producing here. So. That is good stuff. I'm very happy with it. Thank you, Marion. All right, so let's wipe our hands off here and get going for a second pass. I hope everyone is doing excellent today on Wednesday, hump day. Many people call it. I'm doing great. I think we all have to be thankful if we're relatively healthy and employed and even if you're not employed if you're still relatively healthy there's always a potential to you know to find gainful employment and make things better so just hope everyone is doing great all right let's wipe that off and continue on i don't have my dr matt cloth here so my fingers may slip but it's okay right now Yeah, the edge here is pretty good. I'm growing more and more comfortable with my honing and, and my own edges. Again, they're not equivalent to the guys who've been doing it for a long time. Let's make no mistake about it. But I'm confident now that I can maintain my razors without having to send them out. Or at least the ones that are, you know, maybe not a smiling blade because I haven't honed a lot of those. But let's call it the regular blades like this. I'm 100% confident that I can maintain these edges and I don't need to send them out. And that's what I was shooting for, to be self-sufficient to start with. So, very happy with that. And these things will only get better as time goes on. And that goes, you know, 
almost with everything. The more you do it, the better you get. I think I will work on this blade a little bit more because I think I can eke a little more sharpness and smoothness out of it, but it is not bad. Definitely not bad. And you can really hear these hollow grinds cutting, which I really appreciate. Hear that? Very nice. Very nice indeed. Tell you what, nothing to complain about. Very enjoyable. And you'll notice as you go, you'll hear less of that, like buttering burnt toast. As hair is being removed, it becomes less loud. And that's because we're removing hair. <laughs> The less hair, the less scrapey sound you get because when you have no hair, there's not much scraping. Obviously. Re-wetting the face here. And I just like to pull the leather back out of the goatee and the stuff that's up here on the face. Why waste it? Just go ahead and rub it around on the face. No need in wasting it. This stuff smells great. I'm impressed with this face fat. Maybe that's why Marion sent it to me. And again, thanks to Marion for the razor and the sample and the Hega. I just bought another uh, Maddie Lynn home soap from uh, Marion yesterday. And by the way, if, you, um, if you're interested in the Maddie Lynn home soaps, and you should be because he's an excellent guy and I think we should all try to support him. Um, hit Marion up, I know he got another order. And he gets those things out pretty quickly, generally. Um, hit him up with a, you know, pat a little, my recommendation. Add an extra dollar or so onto that just to tip Marion for his time and effort. And I don't, I'm not one of these people that when it comes to Maddie soaps, I'm not interested. Now, if there were $40, of course, I'd be interested in the cost, but they are not. I think they're like... I don't know what they are, $12 and something. And so I don't even calculate the price per ounce because this is just, this. Is, he's one of us, you know. He's a hobbyist. He's a very nice guy. He's very supportive of us. And he's not really in it to make money. He's in it to get back enough to continue his crafts and up his game on. And it's a simple soap formula, but it works very well. So as soon as I get it, I'll be using it. Now, back to this soap. This is good stuff. I'm going to tell you right now. <laughs> I'm impressed with this face fat. I know Chris Maiden said he liked it. This scent is phenomenal. I would buy this. Hands down, because it is a beautiful scent. And so I hope when face fat reformulates that they keep this scent, because it's lovely. And I hope if the price is still similar to what it is, I would love to see them get a stock list and a in America, because I think people would enjoy this soap. I really do. So you can hear now less little scraping there, not nearly as much. So for the people who go around, they're like, you should try growing more before you shave. Well, you can hear the difference. Like now that most of it's gone, not much scraping, but on those first two passes, you hear quite a bit of scraping. Every now and then you'll hear it get one of the leftover whiskers, but most of it is gone. With the straight razor, I find pass one and two really do most of the work. And I do this third pass really just as a cleanup. There's some higher up there where I didn't get, because you can hear it. And you'll hear a little bit high up there on the cheeks. My hair grows all the way up to about right there. <laughs> it's light up there but it does grow up there. And you'll hear always, there's some down here. Hear that? There's always some down in that spot every single day. In the first two passes, I don't get all of it in that area. Most of the cheek is completely gone. But right here, here, there we go. That's close enough. We just want to get a close, comfortable shave. That's always the goal. 
Very nice. Very nice indeed. I don't really shoot for BBS. I shoot for DFS and I'm happy with it, especially on the neck. Because I have learned in order to get BBS on the neck, I have to go over it time and time and time and time and time again. The whiskers are very stubborn there. And they grow in a lot of weird directions and angles. <laughs> so it's, it's a pain. And again, there'll be some hair up there. Hear that? Yeah. Not much. A little bit up there. Not much at all on the cheeks. A little. It's funny, I have usually a lot there and very little on the other side in the same spot. It's just because of the way the hair grows in different directions. So you'll hear there's not much scraping right there, which is the same spot. And that's just beard growth, you know. Knowing your beard growth is important. You know which areas to really, you need to focus on more. But like I said, for me, I'm interested in a shave with a comfortable shave with no nicks, cuts, scrapers, weepers, irritation, bubbles, and troubles. And when I achieve that, I'm very happy. However, sometimes you'll get a weeper or creeper. It's not the end of the world, but we try to avoid big nicks and cuts. All right. So the edge did well. I'm happy with it. However, I think I can get more out of this. So I will probably, honestly, I'm just looking to hone more. So I think I can do better on this. So I'm going to work this edge a little bit, but it was really good. All right. So let me rinse. We'll come back, get into the post. Stay tuned. All right. And we are back with our Lancaster towel. I haven't been showing Lancaster towel a lot because I don't know if they're ever going to have a drop again. It's been a while. Uh, hopefully they will. It is a great towel, but not, not very many drops. And so it's, it's annoying to people and I understand it. And so I haven't been showing it as much. This is the magic made by Witches Thayer's Witch Hazel, which is great stuff. This was an excellent shave. I must say, I am impressed with face fat, well-priced, outstanding scent. If you like citrus scents and uplifting, this one is fantastic. Again, we'll show it to you right there. This one is grapefruit, lavender, bergamot, Two thumbs up, I loved it. Thank you, Marion, and I hope this becomes available. Off cam, we use the PAA alum with uh, dry dock, still holding up very, very well. Like that, we use the West Coast Shaving uh, two-tone brush. Inexpensive, but great. And of course, we used our Economy Supply 800 razor from Marion the Barbarian. Thank you very much, Marion. And we shall finish off today's shave with the Hega Toxic Waste, as uh, Maddie Lindholm calls it, because of that color. All right, let's slap some of this on. It smells great. This is nice stuff, in my opinion. I'm, I'm very proud to use it and show some love to our Swedish brothers, Maddie, Johan, Frank. Oh, man. I really like the scent of that, and that feels good. So, Hega, check it out if you get the chance. Very, very nice. I think King Klitschko has some links where you can buy this in the US. This is nice stuff. I need to get the blue as well. All right, folks. Thank you for joining me. Remember, all the episodes of Real Talk are on YouTube now, so check them out if you wish. I am your host, CDB, reminding you, it's your shave, do it your ways, and as always, God bless.